If imagination is the best means of travel, then we need to turn to books and relive Zagreb's rich history. Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'll give you an extraordinary Zagreb reading list. We'll start with the oldest document of the Croatian language, the 11th century Bastianska Ploča. It's a long journey back in time, but to see this priceless stone slab, you only need to swerve from Zrinjevac Park into the Croatian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Let's try and decipher the glagolitic alphabet. Jaz opat držiha pisah se o ledine, da juže zvanimir kralj hrvatski. I'm struggling here, but I assure you, not only is this inscription in Croatian, but it contains the first mention of the name Croatian. Skip forward to 1242, and we've just arrived to the free royal city of Gradec. The proof of that is a piece of paper called the Golden Bull, whose replica is kept in the Zagreb City Museum. With this edict from the King Bela IV, the locals were turned citizens of the free royal city on Gradec, the hill of Zagreb. Just a piece of paper? Well, this one is Zagreb's most precious document, which is why the original is stored in strictly controlled conditions in the Croatian state archives. Now it's 1483, nine years before America was discovered, and Croatia has its first book printed, Misal po zakonu Rimskoga dvora. Its black and red typography is pure artistry. You can see it for yourself at the National University Library. Give the glagolitic another try, because this is exactly what makes this missile special. It was the first one in Europe to be published in a script other than the Latin. Who says reading is easy? It's time to replenish our brain cells with an imaginary meal in the Puntier Museum of Gastronomy. Here you can get a taste of historic food from more than 2,000 cookbooks. And this first Croatian printed cookbook from 1813 is filled with unique whiffs and smells. I'm definitely skipping the roast otter. You can even imagine preparing a historic meal. But if you prefer using your fingers for turning leaves, Go back to traveling without moving. Being a bookworm is in.